This video lets you experience tasks identical to those run on the Spawn model. Spawn has one eye and one arm, so to perform these tasks, you can simply look at the screen with a pen in your hand. Here is an example of the input that Spawn sees. You saw an A, a 1, an open bracket, a number, in this case a 9, and a question mark. The A indicates that a task is about to start. The next digit, in this case a 1, indicates which task to perform. 1 means that it's a recognition task. The brackets are used to structure the task. Numbers encode the task itself, and a question mark means that a response is expected. Here is another example of a recognition task. So after the question mark, you should write down a 3 to get this task correct. Here's another example. And another. The last two numbers were a 6 and a 1. The 1 was quite noisy, so it is a difficult recognition task. Let us now look at another kind of task. This is task number 3, which requires remembering a list of items. Here's the input. If you wrote down those items correctly, you would have written 1, 7, 2, 3, 7. Here's another list. The correct answer in that case is 3, 6, 9, 5. As you can see, the lists can be different lengths. Here's a final example. The correct response in that case was 205441. As you can imagine, the task becomes more difficult as the list gets longer, and Spawn, like people, will make more errors on longer lists. The next task, task number 5, presents a list like in the last task, but in this case, the list will be followed by a question. The question will be either asking what is in a specific position, or it will be asking where is a kind of number. These are indicated by the letters P and K. Let's look at an example. In this case, you were shown A5, which indicated it was task 5, and then 1363, three, which is the list of numbers, a P, which means you must say what is in a specific position, and then the number 2. So it's asking what is in position 2. The correct answer in that case is 3. Here is an example of the other kind of question. That was asking, where is the zero in the list? So the correct response is 5, since zero was the last in the list of numbers, which consisted of 8, 3, 5, 9, and 0. Here's a final example. The correct answer in this case is 7, since 7 is the third item in the list. The final task that we'll consider is task number 7. We call this the Raven's task because it's based on the Raven's progressive matrices, a psychological test of fluid intelligence. To perform this task, you will be shown two examples of patterns over numbers. You need to figure out what the pattern is in those examples, and then you'll be shown a third pattern that you need to complete. Let's look at an example. So you are shown a first pattern, 4, 5, 6, a second pattern, 6, 7, 8, and the third pattern was 3, 4, and then you were expected to complete the pattern. The correct response is 5, because the patterns increase by 1. Here is a very different kind of pattern over numbers. In this case, the correct response is 333. Three, three. 
because you were shown a number which was first a single digit and then a double digit and then a triple digit. And the last number you were shown was the three. Here's a final example. The correct response for this task is a single one. Hopefully this gives you a clear sense of the kind of tasks that Spawn is performing. It performs these tasks as well as many others. You can see the additional videos on our website to see how Spawn actually does these tasks.